In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an old or broken microwave and turn it into an appliance timer. You're going to need the front panel from a microwave, four wire nuts, and an old extension cord, or you can buy one from the dollar store like I did. Here you can see the front panel of the microwave. On the back, there's the circuit board. The circuit board has these two relays. First, I'm going to cut out two slots in the plastic. One up here, and one down here. These will be to route the extension cord. Next, find a suitable drill bit that matches the size of your extension cord. I'm going to be use this one. It's a 3 8 inch drill bit. Unfortunately, the panel is a little bit too big to fit onto my drill press. I'm just going to move the table out of the way. Now, you're ready to drill. Don't forget your safety squints. Next, get your extension cord, cut it in half, and then strip off the insulation of the outer jacket and of the wire. Feed the cord through the hole you just made. I found these two spade terminals inside the microwave. Grab them and plug them into the relay. Try to avoid the awkward camera placement. When working with AC voltages, be sure to remember the color code of the wires. White is neutral, green is ground, black is hot. You always want to switch the hot wire. So I will be connecting the black to the relay, and then the black from the other side to the other side of the relay. The white and green will have a straight passage together. We still need to power the circuit board though. Luckily, it's also 120 volts. So, we can connect the black of the circuit board to the black that goes to the extension cord and the white that goes to the white. The black of the extension cord goes to one side of the relay and to the circuit board. Put a nut on it. Next, grab the one white wire of the extension cord, grab the other white wire of the extension cord, and the white wire of the circuit board. You're going to have to put a nut on those as well. Connect the two green wires from the extension cord. The circuit board doesn't need ground. And finally, connect the other black wire coming from the relay to the other side of your extension cord. Find some space to jam all the wires in. Make sure that there aren't any loose wires and that no wires are touching anything they shouldn't be. An optional step is to add some hot glue where the extension cord meets the case. Next, put it on a non-conductive surface, grab the end of the extension cord, say a prayer or two, hope it doesn't blow up. It works, I think. Now, let's put in 10 seconds. That was the relay going off. And, if we're lucky, we will have power coming out of here. To help demonstrate, I have it plugged into a lamp. Ten seconds, please. Or fifteen. Hey, what do you know? Four, three, two, one. Good job. You made something that works. And it didn't blow up. Have a good day.